Hey. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we'd like. Divine power from the human. And Enos, in his wisdom, did so. I'm not touching that. You listen to the wrong people. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out. So much for you, filthy beast. Nothing there. That's it, I'm going back to the city. 
It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city. Holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. I'm gonna rip you to pieces! I'm gonna rip you to pieces!
A few lockpicks would be helpful. that all along. I'd have gone about it differently. It was just like you said. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district, but they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. Hey, you! What do you want? I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. You did it after all. Good man. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. When can I start as your apprentice? We can really use a man around here who can beat an orc. As far as I'm concerned, you can start here right away. As for the other masters, Thorben has given you his blessing. Bosper tried to talk me out of it. He wants you as an apprentice for himself. I had a brief but intense discussion with him on this matter. In the end, he agreed. As usual, Constantino doesn't care about anything. He said that as far as he's concerned, you can start wherever you like. And Matteo says you brought him back his gold. Seems to me you're an honorable young man. That means you have the approval of all the masters. Are you ready to start your apprenticeship with me? 
I'm in. Good. I'll teach you how to forge a decent sword. Besides that, it's time you got a bit stronger. You're wasting away before my very eyes. Teach me how to forge a decent sword. It's quite simple, boy. Get a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then you pound the blade into shape on the anvil. Your first swords won't be masterpieces, but you can learn everything else later. I want to become stronger. You've already put on a bit of muscle. Come back if you want to learn more. What are my tasks as an apprentice? Three guesses. Forge, forge, and forge? You aren't as dumb as you look. I pay per blade. If you don't work, there's no money. It's that simple. Furthermore, I'll teach you everything you need to know to make a plain sword. Making magic blades is only something for experienced smiths. And you're a long way from that. If you need a place to sleep, you can bunk down somewhere in my house. Everything clear so far? Hey, you! I'd have gone about it differently. Show me your wares. New in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harrod's apprentice. Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. What with? Hey, there you are again. I want to sell the weapons I forged. Good, give it here. Fine, and here's your pay. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. Trees and animals were also washed away. Pan 
and a deep sadness overcame Adonis. Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. What do you want here? I want to see the prisoners. Go ahead, but I'll stay away too long, understood? So, doing all right? <laughs> Go ahead, mock me. Eventually you'll get what's due to you, I swear. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. We will discuss this later. Now get lost, I want to rest. I want to take up service with the Paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the Paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. I'm ready to join the militia. Then you are a citizen of Carinus? The blacksmith has taken me on as an apprentice. Herod? I know him. He works for us. He's a good man. If he vouches for you, there's nothing standing in the way of your acceptance into the militia. You can join us if you wish, but your decision will be final. Once you wear the armor of the militia, you cannot simply take it off and no longer belong to us. Are you prepared to fight together with us for Inos and the King? I'm ready. Then so shall it be. Welcome to the militia. Here is your armor. Wear it with pride and dignity. Will I get a weapon too? Of course. Peck usually takes care of that. But it occurs to me that I haven't seen him for quite a while. Find out where he's hiding and bring him here. Then he will give you a weapon. And if you want to sleep, you can lie down in one of the beds in the bunkhouse. Have you got an assignment for me? Lately, there's been an increase in the sale of swamp weed in the city. We cannot allow this stuff to catch on. Otherwise, everyone here will start smoking and no longer be able to work, let alone wield the weapon. Particularly now that there is a danger of a possible attack by orcs or mercenaries. I suspect that the mercenaries are behind it. I bet they are bringing the stuff into the city. What is there to do? Mortis, one of our men, heard in the Harbor Inn that a package of swamp weed has arrived somewhere in the Harbor District. Look around down there and bring me the package. Can I finally see Lord Hagen now? You are now in the service of the Paladins. They will let you in, but you had better have something important to say. Don't worry, I do. Remember that you are meeting the Chief Paladin. Behave yourself accordingly. You represent not only yourself now, but the entire militia. So Lord Andre accepted you. I expect you to come here and train regularly. 
Ruga will train you in the art of the crossbow, and Mortis will help you to increase your strength. But the most important thing is for you to learn to handle your sword properly. I'll make a good fighter of you yet. How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers. But when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Hey! Let's begin with the training. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. From this moment onward, Lord hey. Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. All the citizens of this city who have martial skills at their disposal okay. are here with yes, urge but to I'm join not going the out royal of the city militia. Anymore. At least not anytime soon. My knees are still shaking from the scare that orc gave us. No matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinus, the Red Lantern. This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Myrtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor of spending a night with Nadia, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. I can't take care of everything. What are you standing around for out here? Go on in and meet our passionate Nadia. This hot creature of the night will give your life a new meaning. Hey. Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. I want to have some fun. That's why you came here for after all. I am Bromar, this is my house, and these are my girls. I like my girls. 
And if you like my girls too, then you'll pay for it 50 gold pieces. And don't get the idea of making trouble here. Someone's gotta do that. I want to have some fun. Fine. <laughs> You're not likely to forget the next few hours of your life anytime soon. Go upstairs with Nadja then. Have fun. Hey. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. I can't take care of everything for everybody. You don't have to tell me that. That's an open secret. I couldn't get away with that. Someone's got to do the work. That will never change. Everybody knows by now. No idea. You tell me. And that's the truth. He'd better shut up. He'd better shut up. The next couple of hours belong to us. It's time for you to relax, lie back, and enjoy. thinks it's as easy as that. Wait a minute. Come back to me the next time. Own eyes. It had to happen sooner or later. Wait a minute. Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. Everybody knows by now. No one really wants to hear that. These are bad times. Hey, it's time to hit the road. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I need a weapon, so come back to the barracks. Damn it, your weapon can wait. Come on, Andre's already missed you too. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm coming already. But when you report back to Andre, don't tell him I was here. Hey! I'm busy. Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. Hey, you! What are you standing around for out here? Go on in and meet our passionate Nadja. This hot creature of the night. I believe that. I wouldn't have done that. That was obvious all along. But that's terrible. That will never change. I won't tell her a thing from now on. That's all just gossip. Someone's got to do the work. Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, stranger. Who are you? I'm called Attila. But is my name important? Our names are meaningless. You should know that best, stranger. <laughs> What's this farce about? You shouldn't die ignorant at the end of your journey. Consider it a final show of respect to the condemned. Why do you want to kill me? You sold Rengaru to the city. He is only a petty thief, but you shouldn't have done that. My employers are not exactly pleased about it. To prevent you from making yet another mistake, they have sent me. Let me at least draw my weapon. Good. Then prepare for your last battle.
nothing to be had there. What are you cooking there? Oh, fish soup. It's not all that tasty, but at least it's hot. You can try a plateful, if you like. Could you cook me some soup? I cook for everybody. For you too, if you want. All you need to do is bring me a fish. Could you cook me some soup? Nothing could be simpler. Here, have a plate. Could you cook me some soup? No, not today. Come back tomorrow. What can you tell me about the city? Most citizens in this town are afraid of thieves. Therefore, it's not a good idea to enter strange houses. But if you're looking for a place to stay overnight, you're welcome to sleep in my hut. There is an extra bed that you can have. Aren't you afraid of thieves? The only valuable thing that I ever owned has already been taken. Oh, someone stole my statue of Inos. He can't keep anything to himself. And it's gonna get even worse. May enter the storeroom. And it's gonna get even worse. I belong to the Royal Army. I want to equip myself. Do you have an order for that? He simply talks to no. You. Then get out of here. That was quite obvious. Really? How interesting. Halt! Only the citizens of the town and the king's troops can get into the upper end of the town. You mustn't believe everything you hear. I belong to the militia. Let me pass. So, Andre accepted you. Then he can't be such a bad guy after all. You are now one of the protectors of the city, so be nice and friendly towards the citizens. Who says things like that? Ah, you again. He really so, you that. actually managed to get into the upper quarter. There are some things you must heed here. Otherwise, you will wind up outside as fast as you got in here. You're only allowed to enter the merchant's buildings. You can recognize them by the signs over the door. Just so there are no misunderstandings. The other buildings belong to important citizens. There is nothing there for you. As a member of the militia, you also have access to the rooms of the paladin. But your quarters are still in the barracks. I don't believe The important that. citizens of this town live in this quarter. So it's treat it's them with it? respect. Do we understand each other? I don't sure. want to believe anymore. And there's more, believe me. But nobody wants to know. Has anything exciting happened lately? I you should know that right. best. As a member of the city guard, it's your task to see the law and order. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Just like you Only said. a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. It was just like you said. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you. <laughs> things I can tell you. That's not what I heard. They can't go on like this forever. Where can I find Lord Hagen? He's in the town hall, at the end of the upper quarter. But you will not be admitted there without a good reason. Uh, I'm staying out of it. I already thought as much. It was his decision, wasn't it? That's no secret. Do you really believe that? Halt! Only men who are in service to the king may enter the town hall. 
I am a member of the militia. All right, you can go in. I have already heard of you. Lothar has reported that you wish to speak with me. You are the stranger who has demanded the Eye of Enos. I am Lord Hagen, paladin of the king, warrior of our Lord Enos, and commander-in-chief of Corinus. I have much to do, so do not waste my time. Tell me, rather, why you are here. What do you know about the Eye of Vinos? It is a divine artifact. In the old prophecies, it is mentioned in connection with dragons. However, the scriptures also say that only a chosen of Enos can wear it. The hosts of evil are gathering very close to here, in the Valley of Mines. In the Valley of Mines? We have dispatched an expedition there. We are also aware of reports that say the pass there is occupied by orcs. But thus far, no news has reached me of an army of evil. What army is that supposed to be? An army of dragons who have gathered hosts of their minions around them. Dragons? According to the old scriptures, it is many centuries since dragons were last sighted. Tell me, why should I believe a word you say? But the question isn't whether you can believe me. The question is whether you can afford not to believe me when I tell the truth. As long as I have no proof, I cannot afford to send even more men there. So you want me to bring you proof? Precisely. Cross the pass and go to the Valley of Mines. Once there, seek out the expedition, and when you have found them, speak to Commander Garond. If anyone knows the situation there, he will. If he confirms your words, then I am prepared to help you. Does that mean you'll hand over the Eye of Enos to me? The Eye of Enos? Good. Bring me proof, then I shall see to it that you are permitted to wear the amulet. Then can I say I've got your word on this matter? You can, for you have it. How am I supposed to get across the pass? I shall give you the key to the gate to the pass. However, you will have to find your own way through the ranks of the orcs. May Enos protect you. Why have you come to Corinus? We are on an important mission for the kingdom. Our orders come directly from King Robar. I told you that we have sent an expedition to the Valley of Mines. That is the reason for our presence. I want to take up service with the order. To be a warrior of Enos means to devote yourself entirely to the cause of Enos. Only the noblest and bravest warriors are accepted into our order. If you are truly determined to become a paladin, you must prove that you are worthy. Hey! Don't tell me you didn't know that. I went to see Lord Hagen. And? You didn't bother him with your dragon tales, did you? Yes, I did. Tell me this isn't true. You can't he sent me to get him some proof. Well then, good luck. You know who to believe these what a lunatic. Tell me that isn't true. Hey you, wait a minute. You're headed for the Valley of Mines, aren't you? And? Here's a bargain. No idea. You give me a report on what's going on with the ore, and for that I will get you a ring that increases your life energy. I'll see what I can do. He listened to the wrong people. What are you doing here? Who are you then? Looks like you're new and have no idea what's going on around here. They call me Gabrant. That's Mr. Gabrant. Sir, to you. Got it? Everybody knows by now. 
I get the point, Mr. Gerbrandt, sir. At least it didn't take you too long to grasp how the wind blows around here. As soon as business starts picking up again, I can surely find a use for a great big guy like you. You'd make a really good depot master. Can you read? Of course. Fine, fine. Trained staff is hard to come by. How about your references? References? All right. I shall remember your face. Once trade picks up again, come and see me. I just might have a job for you by then. Anything new? People like you have no business up here. This is where the respectable society resides and not tramps or crooks. If you should ever succeed in becoming wealthy and respectable, you might find yourself more welcome here. Really, how interesting. You won't tell him. Do you really believe that? But he knew that all along. That's not what I heard. Order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from the human. And Enos, in his wisdom, did so. What do you know about that package of weed? Hmm. The last time I was in the Harbor Inn, I heard how Cardiff and some other guy were talking about it. Who was the other guy? No idea. But he said he'd found the best storage place for his herbs. Then the two of them laughed like drunken orcs. I've managed to track down Peck. Yes, he's already back at his post and going about his duty. Where did you find him? He crossed my path in town. All right. Then go to him and get yourself a weapon. I've come to get myself a weapon. Well, look who's here. Our new comrade. And he wants a sword. You didn't tell Andre I was in the Red Lantern. You seem to be okay. Here, take your sword. It's the best that I have. If you want a better weapon, then go to the merchants in the market.
guards on the gates are ordered Nobody to interpret asked. the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent Nothing unauthorized surprised. entry. I could have told you that before. Will it ever change? You have to feel sorry for me. to himself.